My name is Selena Bernacci. I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado. We were getting ready to get onto the highway. We seen the car kind of swerving a little bit. He kind of T-boned us on the driver's side. Um, my grandson was in the back seat and he hit that back door uh, pretty hard, spun us around. So I had a ruptured disc in my lower back um, and then a protruding disc. Had numerous visits to the doctor, uh, to a specialist, um, even tried injections to try to treat the pain and none of that worked and then ended up in so much pain that I had to go to the emergency room and that's where they told me, you know, I had no choice, I was getting surgery. I had posted on Facebook, you know, that we were in an accident. She's a friend on Facebook, a friend from childhood, and she works at McDivitt and she said to give them a call. So she sent me the contact information, I called them and they were able to help me. She was in a pretty significant car accident with an individual uh, who claimed that he had a sudden medical emergency, uh, which is what caused him to lose control of his vehicle and, and, and hit Selena. In Colorado, one of the defenses to negligence is a sudden medical emergency. So for my case, we went to trial and we lost. I thought we were done. I thought, okay, it's over. And he said, no, it's not over. We're, we're gonna go ahead and set an appeal. And I was just like, okay, here we go, you know? Well, we just told her that we weren't going to give up, that we had other options. So we told her to, you know, hang tight. We're going to work. We're, we're going to work on this. We're going to work on the appeal. Uh, I let her know that I would keep her in touch every step of the way. I, I think that she appreciated the fact that we were going to continue fighting. He was wonderful. He really helped me. He really guided me. Just his, the way he explained things to us, you know, and to me and my daughter, because we did have to go to trial. We did have to do all of that. But just his care and his attention. Um, and you can tell that he really did care about our situation. Um, so I think that really made a big difference. Uh, the defense defended it so, so hard was because they had a, a statement in the police report from an eyewitness who claimed that uh, the defendant in the case looked like he was having a heart attack behind the wheel. The problem with that statement was, is the police officer who took the statement got no information, no identifying information on this individual. It's just a random statement in the police report. We, we tried to get that out of the trial uh, because uh, we claimed it was hearsay. Uh, the judge allowed it in incorrectly. The entire defense was based on that statement. So we took it to trial and we lost. We refused to give up because we knew that there was an injustice there. So we appealed the trial. Uh, we went to the appellate division. The appellate division agreed with us and overturned the trial. Now this case is actually the seminal case in Colorado on whether or not uh, statements in a police report actually get in as evidence at trial. So if, if anybody's looking for that law, they would look at this case. But at the end, when we, when we got the trial overturned, I could tell that she was, she was very surprised, but she was really happy. And then when we finally got the case settled, uh, she seemed like she was really happy that uh, it was, first of all, it was over, and that she did get a fair settlement, and that she did feel like she got her justice. McDivitt did listen to you know, my story. They listened to me and, and helped guide me. It just makes you feel comfortable. It makes you feel like, okay, I'm being taken care of. I'm being heard and I'm being taken care of. Like I, I think the thing that I took out of this is that when you're on the side of right or you're, you know, you're, you're, your side is just and it's that you don't give up the fight. They've done so much, you know, and I feel like they went above and beyond for me. So yeah, I just feel like I couldn't thank them enough. She understood there were ups and downs in her case and, and she accepted them and she trusted us and she let us fight for her. And at the end, she did get her justice, but you know, she never gave up either. And, and she always believed in us and we always believed in her. And those are the best clients to have because when you're working together and you both believe you're in the right and, and, and you're both striving to get justice, uh, it makes it a lot easier and those are the clients that we really appreciate helping.